Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello and enjoy your discount. This is Dozer. Isn't this a beautiful dog? He's about 90 pounds now. He was abused. They got him when he was only 50 pounds. The friendliest big dog you've ever met. Hey, this is Spencer Colgan. Welcome back to Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Today I'm hanging grass cloth. But it's not just your typical grass cloth. This product is untrimmed, which means that after it's trimmed down, you cut it to where you're hanging 36 inch pieces, but there's a couple of inches on each side of the 36 inches, which has to be cut off on the job site. Let me show you what I mean. So the panels come in A and B. So this is the repeat. It's a horizontal repeat. It's also a vertical repeat, but it's, it's replicated every third sheet. So this one, we'll start again here. A, B, A, B. And that's the pattern. The first sheet is trimmed down. Okay. And the second sheet is not. So if you look close, you'll see that this goes over here. Right? That's the pattern replication. For those of you who hang murals, you know that we always have an overlap and a double cut. But let's, let's think in terms of a mural. You know that your murals are double cut products, right? Where you overlap it and you, and you double cut through it. How would you do this with wallpaper? Would you overlap your grass cloth on the wall? We're putting it on the wall. Would you put it on the wall, this one first, and then you overlap this one onto this? Who thinks that's a good idea? Who thinks this is a better idea? <clears throat> put it on your table and trim straight down. Trim according to those trim lines. Who thinks that's a better idea? Well, I can tell you if you put it on the wall, putting A first and then overlap B, you run the risk of getting paste from this sheet onto this. And this is a product which doesn't tolerate moisture, certainly not paste. And so you would have to tape this. You'd have to put a two inch piece of tape over this and then overlap this onto here, but then you wouldn't get to see where your overlap meets up. You wouldn't get to see that. And so it becomes extremely impractical to try to hang this by putting this over this while it's on the wall. So what we're going to do is a bench cut. We're going to trim this, a table cut. We're gonna trim it on the table and then we're going to hang it as if we were opening the rolls that were already trimmed. As a footnote, if those who manufacture this product are watching, I have a question for you on behalf of everybody watching. Why do you do this? Why do you make us double cut this product? It's, it's difficult enough to hang. Why do you give us a product that has to be double cut or trimmed? I wish you would just have the factory do it. Because I'm gonna tell you, unless you have a lot of experience with wallpaper, you'll mess this up. And an otherwise good wallpaper hanger just starting out is going to ruin this product because they're not going to fully cut that line. You see that line right in the middle of your screen? You have to completely cut that off. Completely. And if you don't, you're in trouble. If part of that vertical line 
shows you're in trouble. And everybody's going to know what it is. It has to be completely cut off. Your cut must be precision. And aren't that, isn't that what machines are made for? We're going to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it so that you can have confidence hanging untrimmed grass cloth. Okay, let's get to it. So we have our table and we have our product on the table. So we begin our investigation. We have our trim line. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I've made this mistake before when I first trimmed the wallpaper. I didn't trim off the whole line, okay? I was like that. And guess what was shown? That was showing. And so, I don't want you to make that mistake. See that? That line has to be gone. You see that little black showing there? See that? So, make sure that when you have your guide set, you see a little of that white on the other side of that black line. You don't want, there's no way to get rid of it if you make the mistake, okay? Second point, are the trim lines the same distance from the edge of the wallpaper? Well, we have two and a half inches here. The very next one is two and a half inches. But folks, don't assume it. Don't assume it. Check every one of them to make sure if you're going to go by measurement, because here's the deal. From this trim point, all the way up to this one is a distance of 61 inches. And so you have to connect the dotted line. Okay? One of the ways to do that, one of the ways, or a few, you can simply make your own line in between these long lines, the long distance of lines, so that you trim will be uniform and straight, okay? And thirdly, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can definitely do this. But what are you gonna use to trim it? I strongly suggest that you do not use wood. You can easily start slicing into wood when you start cutting your paper, okay? I, I highly suggest stainless steel. You can find them in a yardstick, right? You see, my edger covers from trim point to trim point, and then some. But guess what? I'm still going to make some lines because you and I both know this stuff moves and we wanna make sure that we're on the line. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And so with my pencil, I've made one point here, another here, and another here. Because when you start trimming this, things move, and you'll wind up with a crooked piece of wallpaper. Happened to a colleague friend of mine up in Ontario, Canada, and he called me and said, what do I do? And the advice that I gave him was to hang it crooked because the pattern would not reveal the lack of plum in the pattern. But this will, this will. So we, we can't make that mistake here. So now what I'm simply going to do is trim against my steel blade, my steel edge here. Okay, and get rid of this thing. 
Let me show you the reason why you don't want to go off of a measurement from the edge. Who remembers what the distance was from the edge to the trim point that I measured before? It was two and a half. What does that say? Believe it or not, it's not showing as much in the in this video, but do you see how it's nearly a full sixteenth of an inch off? Now you might not think that matters. But guess what? If you strictly went by measurement, you would be off and you would have See that black line? Anybody in the business is gonna know that you, you messed up when you, when you trimmed your wallpaper, okay? You should aim to slice the entire line off. And I would say that means giving yourself a sliver of white not the black, don't cut on the black. Cut after the black where the white begins. Okay, I'm about to make my cut. I can't show you while I'm doing it because I'm alone. And so I'm going to be making my cut with this brand new nine millimeter knife against the steel edge. So let's see how I'm doing. See my trim line? You see the white showing? That's what you want too. Okay. Okay, how, do, how am I doing? There's my cut. Now let me just tell you something. For those of you who are really nervous about doing it themselves, Take this wallpaper and put it on your floor and line up the wallpaper. It's never going to meet exactly. This is grass cloth. This pattern is never going to meet up. You might have a 16th of an inch over here or a 64th. Don't panic if you've chopped off a 64th of an inch. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? Because I wallpaper people tend to be very, very fanatical, particular people. And I get it. So that's your cut right there. Look at that beautiful sharp edge. But it's time consuming. If you do this for a living, make sure you charge more money to do this. Okay, we're doing the same thing on the other side of this wallpaper, right? See that? And if I were you, I wouldn't be measuring because you know that the measurements are off by hair. Okay. Another little piece of advice, when you're cutting, make sure you don't have this blade too far extended. Here's what happens. It starts flexing. Now you sl your, paper, your paper will be sliced on an angle, watch. You see the difference between cutting like this? Watch. Rather than like that. If your paper is on an angle, if it's cut on an angle, you're going to see it. You understand that your blade must be right up against that steel, not like this, and not like this. So keep the blade short and go in short spurt cuts, okay? After you trim your paper, roll it up just like if it were typical rolls of wallpaper. Okay? So now let me show you what you should expect when you do your bench cut. If you didn't do a bench cut, this would be overlapped onto here and you would get paste on this. If you didn't get paste on, you would be using tape, right? And if you were using tape, you wouldn't be able to see where you should cut it. Now, do you see why you did a bench cut? Okay, good. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. 
Now, you see that? I don't, Spencer doesn't know what that is. Grass cloth has a lot of little things in it, okay? Okay. Uh-huh, now, 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 folks, didn't I tell you? Remember when I said don't expect perfection with the pattern much? You see how it matches up perfectly here? Look at this. What did I tell you? If you look close, you can see it, right? And, and listen, before I, hang this, before I hung this product for this customer, I said, hey, let's go over what we can expect here, you know? Anyway, let me put this in. Let me get my other hand in use so that I can join this professionally. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, this is what we're looking at. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. This gets hard to move. One sec. Okay. I just wanted to bring this seam closer. All right. You got to work your seams nice, nicey, nice. Bring them in, join them together. And then in this, in this case, I would use a seam roller, even though it's grass cloth, because, and you get the sense not to press too hard because you don't want the paste on the front of it. So moving right along, but not without incident. Um, if you can get grass cloth that doesn't have to be trimmed, by all means, opt for that. If you're a do-it-yourselfer. My channel is mostly for uh, do-it-yourselfers who are looking to hang wallpaper for the first or second time. And so I put a lot of details into it. But the pro already knows how to hang this. But it's not easy. This is not easy. But you can, you can do it. A do-it-yourself can do this. You can easily figure this out just by following these instructions. But it's among the most difficult wallpapers to hang. Let me show you an alternative to doing a bench cut. We're going to, we're just trimming some of this excess off. We're not doing a bench cut per se. Look, I'm leaving my trim line. I'm going to bring this up to the wall and I'm going to cut it on the wall because some of you good folks may go crazy trying to make this a straight cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an alternative method so that you can decide how you want to proceed. Just for the record, this is a Kelly Wurstler product. Okay, called Graffio for Groundworks Design 2016. Now take a look at the edge. Notice that I'm not pasting all the way up to the edge. We're going to overlap this. That's what the reason why we don't want to paste on the front of it. But what I'm going to do is paste the wall right near the other edge of the last sheet of wallpaper. You can't go overlapping this stuff with paste on it. Okay, so here's what I've done. Two inch piece of tape from the edge over. Now you can see through the tape, you see your design, right? And so I'm going to paste up to here, just so if this tape comes off, which it does, the paste doesn't get onto this wallpaper. You can't get paste onto grass cloth. 95% of the time it will not come out. But a light one like this, it will. So you can see, I can match up my wallpaper by seeing through the tape. 
Now this design doesn't have a lot of connections here. It's abstract. You have one up there, one here, right? And that's it. But if we make a bad connection, you're going to see it from a mile away, right? So let's get that done. So right along our blue tape, we're putting paste. And that's how we're going to avoid getting that on the grass cloth. So you can see now where our wallpaper meets up. See that? And I'm going to slice it right down I'm going to trim my wallpaper right on this, on the wall. Now, since we're coming off of a void of the material, I want to make sure that this side is straight because remember, this edge isn't trimmed. So I can't go by this, it's jagged, right? I just quickly trimmed it just to get the excess off. So I have to resort to a level. And in this case, I, am, I have the the benefit of using a laser level. So keep your eye on this point here and just follow it up to its counterpart above. Now we know we're level. And now using our laser level, we want to make our double cut once with precision. And so I threw a laser line on it and you can see that it's less than a quarter of an inch from the edge of this sheet over here, my laser line will give me a slice right on the edge of this piece of paper, cutting off about 3 16 of an inch. This is a DeWalt 10 inch steel taping knife. That is the edge against which I made my cut. It must be precision. This is the tape I sliced through. It protected the sheet to the left of that laser line. Now let's bring you up close. See that? That's what we cut off. Okay, the first time you do this, it's a nail biter. And look at our seam, look at this. Let me back up and show you.
my roller. Let's show you the precision. Okay, there's our double cut cleaned up. Okay, um, I beg you to find that seam. Okay, if I went on top of it, you'd find it, but I'm standing three and a half feet from it. And that's what it's all about. Folks, you can do this too. We have light coming in here, shining on this wall covering at different levels. So just understand it's the light. You see the light down there, you don't see it there, and you see it up there. So there you have it, finished up late, but we got it done. This is a Kelly Wurstler. And anybody who knows high-end wallpaper may very well know this product. It's a double cut, not easy. Not easy when you're dealing with grass cloth. So there you have it, two ways to cut grass cloth, a bench cut, or you can do a double cut on the wall. Sorry about the lighting. This is the best I can do. Friends, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click on like and please subscribe to my channel. This video was compiled during the course of this several hour installation. If you like it, please do me the favor of clicking on like and make a comment. Thank you.